everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. I want to start by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. In celebration of Christmas today, I thought I'd make a fun recipe. Today we're going to be making a pasta pie. Let's get started. For this recipe to make your pasta pie, you're going to need some rigatoni pasta noodles, ground beef, some shredded mozzarella cheese, crushed tomatoes, some crushed hot red pepper flakes, some salt, Italian seasoning, maybe some black pepper, some grated Parmesan cheese, fresh basil, minced garlic, some olive oil, and then to make your pie and assemble it, we're using a 9 inch springform pan as well. Add 1 tablespoon of olive oil to a large saute pan. Turn the heat on medium and add two teaspoons of minced garlic. Stir to combine the garlic with the oil. Next, add a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper and stir again. Add one pound of 80% lean ground beef to the pan and use a wooden spoon to break up the meat into smaller pieces as it cooks until it is brown. Continue breaking up the meat into smaller bits. Pour in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then pour in some water filled halfway full in the same can to the sauce. Stir the tomatoes with the ground beef. Season with some salt and black pepper to taste. Sprinkle in two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Stir again to combine. Cover the sauce with a lid and allow it to simmer for 20 minutes. Halfway through the time, give the meat sauce a quick stir. On another burner, remove the lid from a large pot of boiling water and add one whole pound of rigatoni pasta noodles to the pot, followed by a few extra ounces of pasta. Stir the pasta as it cooks for two minutes less than al dente. Drain the pasta into a colander and rinse the pasta with cold water to stop the cooking process. Transfer the cooled, drained pasta to a large bowl. Add about one cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese to the pasta and toss the cheese with the pasta to combine. Then working one by one for each pasta noodle, Place them standing up vertically in a greased 9 inch round springform pan. Be sure to keep your springform pan on top of your rimmed baking sheet to catch any leaks. Spoon the finished meat sauce all over the top of the pasta, spreading it smooth. Once you have covered the top of the pasta, use a chopstick to poke as much of the meat sauce as possible into the individual pasta tubes. Cover the meat sauce with plenty of shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, place a large piece of tinfoil on top of the pie and gently tent it. Bake the pasta pie covered in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Take the pasta pie out of the oven and remove the tinfoil. Return the pasta pie to the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes and remove when the mozzarella cheese is bubbly and melted across the top. Allow the pasta pie to sit in the springform pan for at least 20 minutes. Then pop the tab off the springform pan and carefully remove the outer rim from the pie. Garnish the pasta pie with some fresh basil on top. I hope you all are enjoying your Christmas morning and will give my rigatoni pasta pie a try. Now it is actually Italian tradition to make a stuffed and baked pasta dish for your Christmas dinner. So I hope this pasta pie satisfies that as it has that nice meat sauce that's stuck inside each of our rigatoni. Again, I can't thank you enough for joining me in making this pasta pie, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Christmas season. If you're interested in my recipe for this pasta pie, 
be sure to click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leannoelcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, have a very Merry Christmas, and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.